Welcome to this episode of Eagle Air TV. I'm Lucas Mingan. And I'm Al Justice. This episode features construction, false sports, archery, the writing center, and our newest edition of Fungi News. Construction crews are making progress on the new Center for the Performing Arts. Olivia McCulley has the latest on the newest addition to NHS. A couple years ago, a bond and tax level was passed granting the Nixa High School for the construction of the new stadium and Performing Arts Center. Performing Arts Center is going to be called the ATOS and it's just eagle uh, in Greek. And we're going to be um, using it for pretty much everything you can think of, fine arts related for the entire district K-12. And so, so any choir, band performance, um, even even we're looking at uh, even visual arts using it, like the lobby spaces and things that are designed to be used for multiple meetings and, and, and several functions. Now, with a complete stadium, construction for the Arts Center has begun. Quite a bit's been done. It's kind of hard to see it all, but a lot of the infrastructure underneath the ground has been done. All the sewer and all, all the different things that have, have to be done underground. Uh, they started pouring the pit for the Performing Arts Center and some of the concrete work you'll see. And then later this month in September, first part of October, we'll start to see the walls come in. There will be many new opportunities once the ASOS is complete, but until then, it will be more challenging to commute through the high school. I think I'm most excited when it is completed, uh, uh, just to be able to use it. It's, it's very inconvenient right now with all the construction we have going on around the campus, just to be able to function and have school and activity. So, so I'm excited when it's done, but it's going to be a great thing to have also for the community. So, so I know our uh, uh, business chamber is excited to be able to bring outside events in, which will help local businesses and th things like that. So we're excited about all the different things that could be used for. It's going to be the Taj Mahal of, of Performing Arts Centers. Mr. Finger, head of the Nixa Crimson Court, says that the construction is long awaited. Obviously the performance venue, the Arts Center itself, just gives us a great uh, performance to uh, performance venue to play in. Uh, our full band hasn't fit in the band room in five, six years. Now we'll be able to have a space where if I want to bring in all 250 kids into one rehearsal space, I can do that. It's just going to be uh, tremendous for band. And choir the same way. Choir gains uh, a classroom space. Right now they have to kind of um, move into the band room often um, or they're practicing in the hallway, things like that. Same thing with uh, uh, drama. They're going to have an outstanding black box theater, um, which is uh, something new to the district. So it's going to benefit all of us um, in tremendous ways. I'm very excited about the art center and the stage. I will say, I'm, I like to say that I'm a cook and I, I'm more concerned about the kitchen than I am the dining room. And so the band room, I'm really giddy about. Uh, it's going to be, we're going to go from 4,000 square feet of storage and rehearsal space to over 10. Uh, so it's going to be one of the best band rooms in the state. And so I'm really, really excited to have spaces to be able to do the work that we do. For Eagle Air TV, this has been Olivia McCulley. The boys soccer team is on their way to a great season. Phoebe Gardner takes a look. Boys soccer has officially started. Landon Meyer says he enjoys the brotherhood of the team. We're very like close because we've been playing like our team was pretty young the past couple years. So we're all like great friends, like we're all really close to each other. So it's been a lot of fun playing with my best friends. So. Well, our team this year is much older. Last year we had four seniors. And then this year I think we have like seven or eight. And then, but our goals like this year we have much better leadership on the team, I'd say. And we're also kind of like focused, like I said, like our friendship and like our brotherhood. So we're kind of focused around like be, staying positive and like, I guess more like the goals we're like focusing on the field is like keeping the ball more, playing simple. Coach Palmer says this season has been fun so far. I think, you know, when you, when you build up and you get into those first games, that excitement um, has been fun. So then the boys have responded really well. So the, the first few games have been a lot of fun. Our biggest strength is probably our, our skill and our passing ability. We can hold the ball pretty well. Um, we get teams chasing us a lot, so by the end of the game, uh, they usually wear down and we can finish them off. The soccer team has many games left in their season. Look out for future home games. For Eagle Air TV, this has been Phoebe Gardner. We have a new archery class at NHS. Evan Hirsch gives us more. With a new school year starting, more classes become available to take. 
One of these new classes is archery. Robert Hodap is the instructor. Well, the archery class is, is uh, kind of co-sponsored by the National Archery in the Schools program and it allows students uh, another option to be able to take a class that helps them uh, develop a skill uh, which is you know partly a shooting skill that uh, they can use to uh, more or less develop some of their personal skills you know such as uh, self-esteem and self-confidence is probably one of the biggest builders of this program I would say. Senior Madeline Morris says she has learned more on how to focus and be precise. It kind of helps um, train on focusing and precision. It also can help you train on reflecting on what you've done and what you can improve. Um, in archery, you have to find a certain anchor point. You have to, you have to figure, like, find a pattern to stay with the entire time if you wish to um, continuously get, um, you know, get tens and nines, which are in our class you were trying to get at least a 150 and that is the highest. Archery is a class students can take to increase focus, skill, and confidence. For Eagle Achieve, this has been Evan Hirsch. The girls on the Nixa tennis team have been working extremely hard. Lily Maggard gives us a look. The girls tennis team is in full swing. Junior Lauren Reed says what she's excited for this coming season. For this season, I'm probably most excited just for like the team atmosphere, just because even at practices over the summer and like as we've been getting into the season, everyone's just like so supportive and we always have a good time and like we always have a lot of laughs. So pretty much just like getting to spend time with the team. Jim Middleton, girls tennis coach, says the girls started preparing for the season in June. A lot of things start not during the year, it even starts from the year before. Like the returning players, what did they do last year that they can take forward for the coming year? Because there's always next up. And that's very, very important. Who's going to be next up for the team? And certainly there's new players that are coming in too as freshmen. And then from our standpoint as a coaching staff, how's that all going to mesh? But one thing about tennis, it really comes down to about players competing against each other out there on the court to begin with to decide ranking. And then from there, that's why we can impart our input from there to help each one continue to improve. Reed says the age gaps between players could be a good thing. Everyone's outlook is different. You know, we have a lot of juniors on the team, so at first it kind of was like, oh, we might not play as well. You know, last year we won COC, so it was like one of those things where, oh, will we be able to do that again? I don't know. But like this year we're like, okay, we have juniors, like mostly juniors. We're all like, you know, pretty much at the same skill level. So it's like we're kind of really pepped for this season and then also like next season we're like okay we're all going to be seniors next year too so like we have a lot to look forward to like this season and next season so like we kind of have a pretty good like outlook on both seasons. Middleton says tennis is a very distinctive sport. It's unique and, 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 let, me, and let me try to elaborate on that a little bit. It's unique in that there is a team of people, but yet there's some uniqueness of individuality within that team because we have singles in which people are playing individual and then we have doubles where you have partners. So there, there's, actually, there's actually like three pieces to this. The singles part where the individual does it for, for her and the team, then you have the doubles where there's two people working together and then you take that and you work it within the whole team concept. So I really like the uniqueness that, that tennis presents that way. The tennis team has had a lot of progress during their current and off season. For Eagle Air TV, this has been Lily Maggard. The Writing Center is entering its first full year of operation. Abigail Coburn gives us more. The Nixa High School Writing Center is a great way for students to get help on any writing project they have. Rachel Lechner says that the Writing Center has lots of slots available to get help with writing. Basically, it's a place you can bring anything that you are writing in um, at any stage in the writing process and have a consultant who will be a student um, give you feedback on what you wrote. So if you're having trouble with a thesis statement, you can bring it in and they can brainstorm with you different ways to write a thesis. If you are having trouble with ideas, they can come in and talk to you about it. Um, and it's just a, a resource to help with writing all across the board. Kelsey Satterfield says that using the Writing Center could benefit you not only at school, but also in life. 
I think the Writing Center is a really, really cool program that we have at the Nixa High School because it's a way for students to um, meet with other students so that you're not, you know, teachers are really busy all the time and so they can't really give you like full attention to a paper that you've, you've written, but like a student, like one of us who's been through that class maybe, has written that exact same paper even sometimes, um, we can really help you and um, it's really nice because the Writing Center, it's not just, you know, fixing your punctuation or your grammar, but it's like, how can your thesis be better? How can your paper, like, have connections throughout? And, you know, it gets deeper into how to be a better writer and not just how to have a good paper. The Writing Center is now open. To learn more about the Writing Center, visit the Writing Center Canvas page or go to room 258. For Eagle Air TV, this is Abigail Coburn. Good morning. Hi, my name is Reed. And I'm Bryce. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Fun, Fun Guy News. News. <laughs> On this week's announcements, we got some exciting stuff. Hit it with it, Bryce. I bet. This Saturday, our football team's at Neosho. And our theme is Farmers and Flannels. On Tuesday, our volleyball team plays Willard at Willard, but on Thursday, they're at home playing Carthage. And lastly, our marching band is performing at Ozark at the Ozark Marching Band Festival. And now it's time to catch up with our good friend Kobe on his TikTok addiction. It's not an addiction. I'm Kobe Graham, and I'm addicted to making TikToks. Cool. That makes no sense. You're up. Kobe. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Alrighty. So, how have you been? Uh, I'm great. I've gained like 3,000 followers. Okay, now you can unplug. So, in our last interview, you told us about your addiction. Uh, not addiction. It's my passion. Your passion? You told us how your passion caused some tension with your family. How has that grown? Uh, it's gotten worse. I've actually been kicked out of my house, and uh, now I live in my shed. Kobe, what did I say about making TikToks? Is he doing it again? All right, that's it. Out of my house. Get what? Out of my house. I don't need you no more. Out of my house. Get him out. Get out of my house. I don't want to see your face anymore. Get this out of my house. too much. I can't handle it. So, uh, how are things with your friends going? Uh, I actually don't have friends anymore. They all wanted me to quit what I love doing, and I'm happier without them. I hate my life. I wish you would have never started TikTok. I know, this whole thing's like ruined his whole life. I mean, if only we could go back in time and change that.
I felt some kicks earlier. We shall name him... Gobi! Gobi! <laughs> we traveled too far. <laughs> oh, I can't... And Kobe never discovered TikTok. That wraps up for this episode of Eagle Air TV. Make sure to follow Nexa Journalism on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'll see you next time.